here with this headboxing 2977A, which is supposed to be amazing. Let's go play with it. So features you need to know about this, this is a 112th scale brushless RC. It's four wheel drive and it comes with an independent ESC, which is a really nice feature. It's supposed to have a max speed of 45 miles an hour. That is with a 3S battery. It comes with a 2S, but it is 3S compliant. It's 2.4 gigahertz, so you're gonna get a nice strong signal, lots of range, won't interfere with other people who are enjoying their toys at the same time. Has a 45 amp independent electronic speed control, which they call splash waterproof. So it is not real waterproof, don't turn it into a submarine, but if you go through a couple puddles, use it on a wet day, you should be absolutely fine. Has full metal running gear, as well as metal shock. First, I'd like to call for a brief moment of silence for all of my dead All right, if you watched any of these videos, you gotta do the obligatory drop test because the suspension's great on this. How cool is that? Let's make it naked and do that. All right, ready? Let's do the redrop test. So a couple things you wanna know, it's got full metal shocks, full independent suspension, upper and lower A arms. It's got a nice bumper here on the front, which let me show you has like like a little spring insulator there, which should be really good at protecting it. All the metal running gear that we were talking about. You got a resistor, the separate radio from the ESC, which is a 45 amp ESC. Here's your battery compartment, which we're gonna have to end up moving this ESC probably over here on top of the steering servo so that we could put a bigger battery in there. <laughs> More power. We will not be needing this sticker on here anymore. Oh, look at that bright and shiny blue motor there. It's got a nice center differential. Here you can see the rear suspension again in action. Full metal. Look how nice that is. And that is great. Really nice. From what I understand, these tires are a little too too hard of a compound, so we'll have to upgrade those somewhere along the line, but they are nice looking wheels, right? Those are some nice looking wheels, looking good. All right, you've been watching me beat the crap out of this thing. Let's go back and do that review. Okay, here we are, this is the review. This is the fun part, right? So I've been using this for a couple days now and it has been absolutely amazing. I am so in love with this. Okay, you got the end of it, but there are some negatives that I want to tell you about because you really need to know these things if you're going to get it. All right, let me put this down so I have my hands free to talk, right? So a couple things that you should know. 
Let's talk about the strong points and then I'll talk to you about some serious negatives when we get towards the end of the review. First off, strong points absolutely drives amazing durability, incredible. You can see what I've done to it and in just a short week I have absolutely put it through everything in the world and it continues to function on a super high level. Definitely really strong in terms of that. If you're looking for a handling tip, comment below. Say, do you want a handling tip? Do you want to know my suspension setup? And maybe I'll do a second video with all the tips and tricks that I found as the time went on to make it handle a little better right out of the box. You don't even need any extra parts. Speaking of extra parts, let's talk about one of the negatives and it's almost a double negative. Well, let's talk about the battery. So the two batteries that come with it, I do like that it comes with two batteries and two chargers. I think that's a positive. The negative that I'm really unhappy with is the actual runtime that you get out of those batteries is really lame. I mean, not disastrous lame, but you, you plow through these batteries so fast on this thing. Because it's so high performance and the batteries just really aren't that large, when you look at it, you will see there's a very large little battery box. So I understand you could get a 3S battery that fits in that battery box. I'll put that link below. And then I've been using some longer 3S batteries, which required me like a more conventional size 3S battery, which required some fairly substantial, not our work, but fairly substantial modifications to the chassis. Again, I'll put those batteries in the description down below. If you want me in the future to do a whole video on how I modified that battery tray, comment below on that also. I'll do that, that sounds cool. Overall, in the end, the two batteries that come with it work fine, they move it around, you can play with it, have a good time, but just be prepared either you're gonna to need to buy more batteries or modify it so you can put larger batteries in it because you just go through it so fast. It's so fun and you're buzzing around and you're like, oh, it's dying again. It plays a little song as the battery dies, which is kind of fun. I think one of the other negatives that I would have about it, and it's just a mild little negative, is that suspension, while it is true oil-filled shocks and it has a reasonable amount of travel, they're definitely, I believe, a little too soft, both in the compression and rebound settings, as well as the springing. I would put a beefier set of dampers in there if you wanted to really have some wild fun with it. Let's talk about what this is amazing for. This is absolutely amazing for anybody who wants something that they could pull out of their garage, go bashing, wail around, have a great time, play with your friends, play by yourself, do all kinds of amazing stuff. Anything you want to do with a RC car ready to run out of the box, this is absolutely a no-brainer. If you want to race your RC car, if you want like a really technical one, obviously that's not what this is, but for what this is, bizarrely incredible. Cannot go wrong with this on any level. I'm gonna to have to absolutely give this a full six. No, no. I'm only gonna give it a five out of five. I'm only gonna give it a five out of five. Another thing I wanted to tell you is it's just really not that fast. I mean, it's fast enough to crash, fly, do all those amazing things, but I definitely have cheaper RCs that have just have more pure speed. I don't think that pure speed is relevant, but I do need to tell you that in terms of pure speed, it is fun, impressive, but not nobody's gonna look at it and be like, whoa, that thing's so fast. Okay, it's up to you if you like that or not. To me, it makes absolutely no difference. At full speed, these things are completely uncontrollable. Anyway, I love it. Hope that was helpful. Oh wait, do you want to see the unboxing? You want to see what that was like? Let's go do that. So you watch me try to break it. Did I break it though? I'm in the past here. I don't think I broke it, but I definitely know I always try to break them. So you know better than me, but you got to see it tested out. You got to see it stress test, run, bashed, all those kind of things. You heard my review, you're still here, so you want to see the unboxing, see what's inside here. I am so excited to play with this. Let's open it up, see what's inside, do that unboxing. All right, we are in. Got the obligatory instruction manual. Whoa, it comes with a lot of spare parts. So it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It's got the spare battery, the charger, wheel nuts, drive shafts, A-arms, connecting rods, extra body clips. That is really nice. And I do really like it comes with two chargers. It really bothers me when we get two batteries and one charger. It's like, do you want to frustrate me? All right, here is the remote. How cool is this? This is their standard remote. We've had this remote before. So you have adjustment for your tr steering trim and steering rate. You have your throttle trim. 
and you can choose if you want to be a righty or lefty. You can reverse things if you want, as well as the throttle, you know, standard normal stuff. It's got the wheel. I personally really prefer the wheels when they have that little bit of rubber on them. It just feels better in my hand, but it doesn't affect anything when you're using it. it takes three double A's, seen this before. All right, let's pull the beast out. All right, there, ooh, nice and solid. This thing is, this thing is beefy. Whew, solid. I'm loving that.
Thank you.